Welcome. Today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on Samsung devices. Now this is going to be a general Samsung device guide. It will work for many devices, uh, Samsung branded, uh, well, particularly those. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, the phone that I'm using right here is the A01 core, but like I mentioned, this process will work for majority of the Samsung devices that come with the newest Android. So. Uh, to get started, there's a couple things that we will need. Uh, so number one, you will need a computer. Uh, you will need a cable that you can plug into the computer. Uh, you will need internet connection. And uh, I think that's about it. So uh, yeah, let's just jump straight to it. I can see clearly that well, the phone right here is locked and I can lock it using the pattern or using the Google. And yeah, to jump straight to the guide on how to do it, we're gonna move over to the PC side. I'm gonna I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this. Uh, it might be edited with a different device. I don't really remember it, but uh, I guess you will see in just in a second what device I'm using. But like I mentioned, the process will be exactly the same no matter what the device you're using. So let's just cut to the PC. Oh, we're back. Nice. Okay, so now that we're back, I can see we got the pop-up that we need to progress further with this. So once you see it, simply tap on view. Now there is a little caveat. If you touch anywhere else on the screen, this pop-up will disappear and you only need to reconnect it to the computer. Although from there, you only need to press the bypass FRP button a uh, single time and it should pop it up again. So you don't need to go through the entire process from the beginning. You just need to kind of launch the app and yeah. So anyway, let's select view. This uh, opens up our web browser, not a YouTube. Give it a second and there we go. And from here, we're gonna navigate to hardreset.info website. So top right at the top and type in hardreset.info. Let's go. From here, we're gonna tap on the three, dot, uh, three bars, go to the download category. Tap on the search bar and type in 7.1.2. This only gives one result, so FRP bypass Android 7.1.2 and also 10. Let's select download. Scroll down once more. Tap on the download once again. Let's allow. As you can see, starting download, so that is downloading. And another thing that we need to download is Shortcut Maker. So I'm gonna go back, tap again on the search bar, remove what we wrote before and type in Shortcut. Again, there is only one download here. So again, click on the download, scroll down, Click on download once more. There we go. And it started the download. So once we got both of those, uh, we can begin. So you wanna tap on the uh, star icon for the favorites. Then you wanna go into the history, download history. And this will allow us to open it up in files. So I'm just gonna select files right here. And this will show us our two files that we have downloaded. So the shortcut maker and the FRP bypass app. So we're gonna start off by installing the FRP bypass. Click on it. Now, before we can actually install it, we'll need to navigate into these settings and then check this allow from the source, go back, and now we can click on install.
Now once it's done installing, click on done and then install Shortcut Maker. Now once this is done installing, we'll actually open it up. Okay. And from here, we're going to search for settings. Oh, there we go. So settings right here. Uh, so I'm going to click on it and this will expand it. And from here, I'm going to select the first option and select try. And this will not obviously navigate us to the settings of the device. So from here, we're going to start off by navigating to apps and notifications, then all apps. You want to tap on three dots and select show system apps. From here, you want to scroll down to all the way to G. And we're looking for Google Play Services. So there we go, Google Play Services. Click on it, select Disable, Disable app, go back, go back once more, and once more. And from here, I'm gonna scroll down to Accounts, again, Accounts, Add Account, select Google, and simply log in with your Google account in here. There we go. Now you will start seeing this pop up right here that the bypass FRP app stopped working, uh, which is completely fine. It doesn't really matter. This app allowed us to actually select Google uh, as, an, uh, as an option to log in. Without this app, uh, Google is not even shown in the options to log in to our ad account. So you can disregard it by clicking anywhere else on the screen and it will disappear. So from here, you want to log in with your account. Now, if you don't have a Google account, you can simply create it. Although I would discourage you from doing it from here, even though we do have a button, I would probably suggest to do it on the computer or other device and then uh, log in with it. Now, obviously you can also use a existing account. It doesn't really matter. This is just a typical Google login page. And I'll be using my existing account, so. And I'm going to put in the password, so obviously let's do that off the screen. Okay, there we go. And uh, there is a possibility that on this, this particular device there is a bug that I won't be able to go back. Oh, nope, it did work. Now, I will mention this because uh, that is something that happened to me before, uh, where I tried to back out, out of the accounts and just the back button didn't want to cooperate with me. It just didn't do anything. And to combat this, what I did, uh, assuming you have the same problem, is you just want to hold the power key, select reboot, and once the device uh, well, boots back up, it will go back to the uh, setup screen. So you want to then connect it back to the uh, application on the computer, get the pop-up into the view, and then navigate uh, to the downloads folder like we did throughout the process install shortcut maker once again and get back to the settings where you were uh, that is the only way you can get back to where you were and once you get where you should be continue from there uh, onwards so now that we have disabled and logged into to the application we're gonna now go back to the apps and notifications gonna again all apps three dots and show system apps. Scroll down to G. To Google Play Services. And again, we're gonna select enable this time around. And from there, you wanna go back, back again, back again. This will take us back to the shortcut maker. So let's, there we go, go back here to the main like shortcut maker page. And now you want to search for 
think it's set up, but I might be incorrect. Nope, there it is. Android setup. As you can see, there's two of them. You want to pick the first one, the one without an icon. And then scroll down to the last option in this drop down. So as you can see, right above the icon, above the Android setup with an icon, you have a last one without it. Click on it. Select try. Give it a second. Okay, so you should now be on your home screen. Now, before you go clicking off the video, I will mention that the process is still not finished and there is one last thing that we need to do. So to do it, simply open up settings, scroll all the way down to system, and then select reset, factory data reset, reset once more, and select delete all. Now this will perform a factory data reset of the device, but done through settings will also remove any kind of accounts that were previously on this device. So thus it will just fully unlock the device and the device will be then just completely unlocked. Now, unfortunately this will co take a couple minutes and once it's completed, you will be back in the setup screen, but from there you can go through the setup of the device however you like. So this would then fully unlock the device and complete the entire process. Now I'm not going to go through it right here just to save you the time. There is really not much that is going to happen. It's just going to go through a factory reset and then back to the setup where you can do whatever you want. So this completes it and yeah if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.